How's it going Eliminators? Today we're working on a Briggs & Stratton engine and we're going to be doing a little carburetor modification. So let's get right into it. So we have a Poulan Pro. It has a 675 EXE engine on it from Briggs & Stratton. And the issue with this one that my customer said was that he would pull it and it wouldn't start. So I'll try to start this thing and let you guys hear what that sounds like. So on this engine, it has a plastic carburetor and on the plastic carburetor, there's a plastic choke lever that rubs up against and gets stuck in the open position on a metal bracket that holds the carburetor in. So when you go to start this machine, it doesn't choke itself, which doesn't allow it to start. Now on this particular engine, it is called a ready start. So there's no prime, no choke. That's because it has an auto choke system. To get the air box off, you're simply just gonna pop up this tab here off the air box cover and then we can go ahead and take off the air filter here now on this particular design they have four screws here the two on the outside are 5 16 or you could use an 8 mil and the two silver screws on the center they're 9 30 seconds so on this design the two screws here are threaded into two metal brackets that run vertical and then the two silver screws here they bolt into the carburetor so this is kind of like a snug fit so I'm gonna remove these four screws pull off the air box base and then we'll have a look at the carburetor and I can show you what's wrong with this engine now there's gonna be a crankcase breather tube that attaches itself to the air box base here so we can just go ahead and pop that off the choke lever so you guys can see this right here. What happens is it rubs up against that bracket. See how it's, it's touching there? See that, how it sticks? So a lot of times what will happen is you'll try to fire up this machine and it won't be on choke. So if it's cold, your machine won't start. See that? So that right there is sticking. So what you do, it's a super simple fix. Just wear away some of that plastic on the actual lever because you don't need all of that material there. Or you could go over and notch out the bracket. So again, this is a very simple fix, but this is a common issue that has plagued a lot of engines. It's just a poor design. Now, if you're gonna be using a Dremel, I would recommend that you remove the carburetor just so that you don't damage anything. But if you don't have a Dremel, then the next best thing is one of these guys. It is a uh, small 12 piece needle file. So these files are awesome. And if you guys can see here, I do have some flat files. So what we're gonna do is simply push this lever out like that. And then I'm gonna go in with my flat file and we're just gonna wear away that plastic on this choke lever here. And then what we'll do is we'll test it so that I'll bring in both of these as tight as I can. And then I'll move that bracket just by hand to make sure it doesn't stick. Now I have a larger file here. It will remove more material, but you're gonna wanna be careful because this little choke lever here, it is plastic and it can break. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a firm grasp on that. So we're gonna keep going. You guys can get an idea of how much material you have to remove. We're gonna be trying to remove material up until the post. So we're gonna be removing another maybe eighth of an inch. We're just gonna keep going. It's just plastic. There's absolutely no need for it. And then we'll have this more back up and running in no time. So I'm at the point now where this little metal bracket here is seated up against that little plastic piece. You see that right there? So what you wanna do is look straight down and you're gonna wanna see a gap in between that choke lever there and the metal plate. Now I've gone ahead and disconnected that choke spring just so that I can show you guys, but now that will not stick. So there's no way for that to rub up against that metal bracket. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together and then we'll be good to go to fire this thing up and it should run perfectly. Okay, so now that we've filed down that little choke lever there, the choke lever won't seize in the open position. So it should choke itself and then it should open itself up once the engine gets hot. So we're gonna go ahead and fire it up. So now this lawnmower is working as it should. That choke lever is in the closed position when it's cold, and then once it fires up, it opens up to allow the machine to run. So we were able to get that Briggs & Stratton running again. That issue is very common on that model of engine. That choke lever just gets stuck in the open position. It won't start because the carburetor won't choke itself, and that will prevent fuel from going up the main jet into your intake 
and thus will result in an engine that won't start. But like I showed in the video, it's a very quick, simple fix. So that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week, so be sure to stop on by next week. Check the channel out for new content. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. <laughs>